I can have everyone's attention, we'll go ahead and get started with our post-race press conference here in the Media Center at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Uh, we welcome Clint Boyer, driver of the number 15 five-hour energy Toyota, who finished third in today's Linux Industrial Tools 301. Clint, talk a little bit about the race out there today. Yeah, it was a long, hard-fought battle, you know, for our team and our five-hour energy Toyota. Um, we were just off. You know, from the start of the race, I was too loose in and off and too tight in the middle. And you know when, when you have that problem that you're in for a long day because the minute you fix one, you make the other one worse. And it's just uh, you got what you got. So you got to make the best out of it. We are able to chase some air pressures around and, you know, fix some things up. But uh, just fundamentally, we were, we were a little off. But um, good call by Brian when everybody took two tires to take four. I got aggressive there and, and uh, got on the inside and got past a lot of cars and kind of put us in position to put two tires on the next stop, keep the track position and, and uh, you know, stay up front. So just good teamwork all around and feels good to have a solid weekend after a couple bad weekends. Uh, you know, it's a humbling sport. You go from a win to getting crashed out two weeks to back uh, you know, on a podium before an off weekend. Just uh, good timing. All right, we'll take questions for Clint. Please raise your hand. We'll get a wireless mic to you. We'll start downstairs, then go up. We'll start right here. Clint, Matt Wernis, WWLP.com. Uh, here today, we had a, a new tire that was brought here. Uh, what was your thoughts about running with this kind of tire at this kind of track? Well, this track is hard to pass anyway, and it's because it's hard to roll the center better than the next guy and turn underneath somebody when they have, you know, that middle line just seems to be the preferred line because of the banking. You know, you get down on the bottom line, it's just not enough banking to complete the pass down there unless you're really, really, you know, a lot better than them. Um, that less stagger just makes that harder, you know, and worse to roll the center. So ultimately, I think, uh, you know, the less stagger just kind of um, brought out less passing. Okay, we'll take our next question from David, then go to Mark. Yeah, Clint, the whole wild card race, I know you've been involved in trying to go for that before. It just seems like right now, this time of year, that's more exciting than ever. I mean, Kane putting himself in position. You see what he's doing now and, and what we're going to see kind of the rest of the uh, next uh, seven races that one is? Well, you know, certainly when I look at those wild card, you know, guys that are running, um, you know, Casey and, and the Hendrick organization, doesn't matter who's in the car, is capable of multiple wins. I mean, you know, you know, you know going in, if, if he's a guy that you're racing for a uh, wild card spot, you better be on your game. You better be making some gambles and, and taking some risks because they're just too good of an organization um, to outrun. Uh, you know, especially when they're in a situation where they're not going to points, you know, their way in. They've got to, uh, to win their way in. So, you know, certainly even me, um, you know, I only have one win. And he was a guy that uh, that I kind of knew had potential to win two two and, and take one of those wild card spots. Okay, next question, Mark. Yeah, Mark Allman, NASCAR.com. A little little bit on that same vein, but for you personally, Clint, a pretty good day for you because you put some more space between you and 11th and 12th and, and on and on. Is it too early to worry about that right now, or is that something you guys are looking at? It's never too early to worry about points, unfortunately. I mean, we're, we're talking about points in Daytona. You know, we've got to have a, we've got to have a good points day so we can get the year started off on the right foot. I mean, it's just the almighty point is, is so important in this sport to making that chase because without the chase, you can win, you know, I mean, you, you can win three races and have a great season and, you know, have, have a couple engine failures or something like that and put you out of that you know, shot at a championship and then find yourself that last 10 races making more points than anybody and not having a shot at it. So, uh, you know, we, luckily we haven't seen that yet, but we almost saw it last year with Stewart. You know, if he wouldn't have made the chase, um, you know, he still probably would have went on and, and won that championship. And, and how big would that have been? Okay. Any other questions from downstairs? David? Yeah, just looking ahead a couple of weeks to Indy, um, that whole schedule is different this year with really nothing. What do you think of that? Is that you like that or not like that? Well, we don't do anything till Saturday, so as long as I don't have to be there Thursday, <laughs> I love it. I'll probably have to be there Thursday like always and, and not do anything till Saturday. Um, you know, but I, I kind of like the schedule. Usually, I don't like these night races where we come in and practice on Friday and sit around, you know, all day. Um, you know, Friday night and then all day Saturday with nothing and then race Saturday. I'd rather, you know, either do it all in one day or, or you know, take two days. But the three-day deal's too much. Okay. We, I understand we have questions upstairs. Yeah. Nate Ryan, USA Today. Uh, for Clint, uh, 
you, uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen the points yet, but you were, I think, 26 or 30 ahead of Carl coming in here. You, you finished third today. I think Carl was like 17th or 18th. Obviously, it, it seems as if you're, if you're in the top 10 right now, you're safe. Ne ne never mind that you have a win, but it, it, does it, do you feel as if the top 10, you know, with I don't know how many races to go now, uh, seven, is, is looking pretty set for, uh, for chase consideration? No. <laughs> Not until uh, we go to Richmond and you're in, you get to put one of them chase hats on. That's that's when, you, you know, the, the pressure quits. Uh, hopefully we'll be far enough ahead. You know, before then you don't have to worry about it. But I've been on that bubble before going into Richmond, and it's just uh, it's nerve-wracking times. But it is what it is. I mean, that's what makes this sport what it is. What makes that chase so important is it's a big deal. It's a big deal for everybody involved, our organizations, our sponsors, our, you know, our race teams, just everybody involved. It's It's very, very important. Another question upstairs. Lee Spencer, Lee Spencer Fox Sports. When you asked during the, the course of the race to Brian Patty if you guys had brought the same uh, setup you had at Martinsville. Um, you, even though you started out really fast, it seemed like you lost the handling pretty, pretty quick in a run. Um, and what was the thing that he, he talked about? Uh, you guys were going to do what the two did on Saturday. You were going to take their strategy to, to try to get some track position back. Well, I mean, you you do what you have to do. Um, you know, Patty does a great job calling races. Probably the best I've ever had at calling races and, and you know, using some strategy to get yourself back in position and, and getting, you know, in the fight again at the end. And, you know, just uh, we was able to – we put four tires on and everybody put two on. I got, you know, pretty aggressive there on the bottom and got around a lot of cars. That enabled us the next caution to put two on, keep the track position and, and you know, get gone um, before Danny and the rest of these guys, you know, run us down. So – just a, a great, you know, team effort. And that's what it takes is, uh, you know, just team chemistry. And I feel like we keep getting better and better at that with a young group, which, you know, with every week. Is that it upstairs for Clint? We're all done. Thank you. Okay. All right, Clint, thank you very much. Congratulations on your run today. You're going to be busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See now joining us in the uh, media center is Denny Hamlin.